Hey guys, what's up? Happy Memorial Day. Um, have a little bit of time here. I wanted to jump on and uh, show you guys a little bit about uh, series parallel wiring. Get questions asked all the time on one, how to use 54 volt drivers for smaller applications. But the main one is how would someone use one driver for the big setup? And the one driver that is the most accessible, the easily most easily obtained by everyone is the HLG 600. Dash 54. You can use an A or a B. We suggest the B for dimming purposes, but um, the 600 54. That is the uh, one of the few drivers that can run, you know, up to 16 strips, eight, eight heat sink sets, or 16 total strips um, off a single driver. So there's really one building block that needs to be done to be able to do that. And then after that, it's very scalable or descalable um, based on, on how you want to do it. But essentially, the, the photo boost strips that we have here, they're 20, 27 volts nominal. Sometimes they're a little more, sometimes they're a little less, but basically, they are 27 volts. So in order to get something that works with the 54-volt driver setup, the easiest way to do is to put two in series. So 27 plus 27 gives us 54 volts on the dot, and it works out fantastic. And that is essentially all we're going to be doing is building two... Uh, building 54 volt strip sets here and then being able to parallel as many off as you needed to now there's a there's a lot of options as far as plugging in where you can where you can get uh, connections to the photo boost strips and that sometimes can be confusing so anyway we're just going to run through this and do a little example here um be using a smaller driver than the 600 but it uh it all works the same as far as 54 volt uh series parallel connections and then paralleling off that for uh, for some larger strips, so um, I'm doing this live. So if you guys have some questions, feel free to uh, to drop them in here in here in the comments uh, or the uh, chat. But I'm really just going to kind of spiel through this um, so I can get it up there as more of an informational little clip here. But uh, like I said, we have two sets of uh, strips here, two strips right in front of us, and we want to connect them in series to make 54 54 volts across both strips. So the easiest way to do that is essentially uh, with a little jumper wire. So I just have basic wire, nothing crazy here. Um, and the way I've put the boards onto the heat sinks helps that. And I do this in all the tutorials. I tell you on one side of the build, all the heat, all the strips to be going one way. You can see like the logo down here. Um, and on the opposite side, the logo is on the other side. So they're, uh, they're contradicting. The reason doing that is it puts the negative and positive terminals here right across from each other. Super easy, easily accessible. Um, you don't have to do any bending to get where they need to go, but it doesn't. It works either way. Um, so to connect two boards in series, we're just going to go from a, uh, a negative to a positive, or a positive to a negative. Really, at this point, doesn't matter. But um, we're going to go right here from this negative up here to this positive across the way. Okay, and so from here. We now have, if we uh, if we started on the negative terminal down here, the current would flow from the negative all the way through this series, out the positive, to this negative, and continue flowing all the way through. Um, so if we had a connection on this negative and this positive over here, we'd have 54 volts across this whole strip, which is great. Um, with the builds, it's kind of hard. You don't want wiring on one side of a 46 foot fixture and another side of a 46 foot fixture. So, and of course I cannot find it, but uh, with the, with the spine builds where we have a spine running across, it makes it very easy to wire in the center. And with the photo boost strips, we can connect right here on the center. So how I just had 54 volts going from this positive or this negative to this positive, we can also just go this negative to this positive and it's gonna go do its full factor here. So long story short, now that we've connected these in series, we have 54 volts. To show that, I have a 54 volt driver here. It's a 56 volt driver, but it'll auto correct. Um, and we're gonna connect this positive here to this negative here.
and bam, we have both strips working. And if we take a multimeter and test across this negative to this positive, we're gonna get 54 volts. If we go from this negative to this positive, we're gonna use 54 volts because they're the same connections. Though there are two terminals for each positive and each negative on the, on the photo boost, it's one connection. So once you use one, unless you're paralleling, it's used up. Um, anyway, lights up great on a 54 volt setup. Now there's a couple caveats to this. Um, makes sense to me, makes sense to anyone else building that, but sometimes people will just connect to the positive and negative on one strip and think that this series is going to run all the way through. That is not the case. If you only connect on the positive and negative of this, um, this strip, this jumper cable is not going to, it basically doesn't exist because there's no uh, continuing connection to this second board. So I'm going to do an example here. I'm just going to connect, take this driver. And see, now that I connected at the positive and negative just on one strip, it's only completing the circuit for one strip. This jumper cable is doing nothing. So that's why it's important and uh, also kind of convenient with the spine builds to go right up the center because we can always have easy access to this negative and this positive right here in the center. As where otherwise, we would then have to uh, create a circuit all the way from this negative here to this driver negative here. Um, so it'd be one circuit. So that's why it makes it very, very easy to wire straight up the center. Now, 54 volts works great for one strip. Uh, gives you a four foot strip real easy, bam, bam, no big deal. But how does that make it easier for us to hook up to a 600 watt driver? Now, I've shown you the basics of when you wire in series, you're adding the voltage together. So the voltage goes from uh, 27 volts to 54 volts, but we're still only running uh, the same current across both boards. But if we start to parallel up these builds instead of just one strip, say we, uh, say we introduce two strips here, now the current is going to get divided across both strips. So say we had a current on this driver of two amps. When it was going to just this one 54 volt strip, that one amp was divided through by one. So, or uh, two amps was divided by one. So we still get two amps across the full boards. But now that we have two boards here, two amps is going to get split into parallel and run one amp across each board. You can think of volts like volts are how far something can go across the circuit. It's like little hurdles. Each, each uh, volt is kind of a hurdle it has to go through. If it doesn't have the voltage, it's not going to make all the hurdles, won't light it up. But uh, that's only distance. They then split the current and can run that. So we're going to connect the... Uh... I'm going to show an example real quick here. We're going to connect one at a time and split these across. So take this away for a second. Now again, we're back to 54 volts. 54 volts, one strip. I'm going to connect the negative to the negative of the driver and the positive of the positive driver. This driver is 1.7 amps. So currently, 1.7 amps is going to go across this single strip. One point seven amps across the strip at fifty four volts. Now let's take strip number two. We're going to lay it right next to it, just how it was before, and we are going to start to connect the positive to the positive. and the negative to the negative. And just like that, the second strip lit up. And I'll turn this off so we can see the connection in a minute here. But what happened is it had the voltage to carry across the 54 volt strips, but now it has now taken that 1.7 amps 
and divided it by two. So no longer is each strip getting 1.7 amps. It's getting about you know 850 milliamps or 0.85 amps across each one. And if we were to uh, add another strip set in here and connect all the positives together after that, it's going to get divided by three instead of just one or two. And it continues on and on and on, no matter what driver setup you use. Um, the more strip sets you put in series or in parallel, it's just going to keep dividing the current. So when we have a HLG 600-54 that has 11.2 amps coming out of the DCNs here, when we divide it by eight sets of uh, eight strip sets in parallel, that 11.2 amps gets divided by eight and comes down to 1.4 amps per strip or per strip set. And so each each strip is getting driven at its nominal its nominal current there, even though the driver is sourcing at you know 11.2 amps. And that doesn't matter whatever it is. If your driver had eight amps and you divided it across eight strip sets, it'd be one amp. Per strip set there and the, the math is really easy after that um, but that is probably one of the most common questions I get asked across any of the photo boost builds is how can you run one driver so instead of running one high voltage series of continuing these and making these four strips uh, you know basically over 100 volts here 110 volts we can do it in half of that at 54 and just parallel off and that's how you'd run a 600 watt uh, an HLG 600 watt driver, very, very simple. I still, for the 16 strip, eight heat sink build, I still recommend the two 320s. You get a little bit more wattage there. It also runs the strips in a pure series configuration, which is a little better, um, but overall it's it can be done. You'll get about 585 watts at the wall if you run 16 strips in eight, uh, eight strip sets in parallel. If you do that, you'll get it, like I say, around 585 watts at the wall. If you use the two 320s, you get about 640. So there's a little more wattage there, but I do understand um, not everyone needs 640 watts of this efficacy in a four by four or whatever you guys are building with. So the 600 watt HLG build is a good option, and this is how you would do it. You'd have eight sets of these strips in the series, and then take all of the negatives from each strip and connect it to one terminal and all of the positives into another and connect the drivers right to it. After that, you've got, like I say, just under a 600 watt system at the wall and we're good to go. So going through the chat, looks like a few have jumped in here, um, about 117 people, wow. What's up guys, like I said, happy Memorial Day, but just wanted to run through this, just a quick example of how one would do a series parallel configuration or even the concept of setting up a 54 volt strip. Um, like I said, all we're doing here is connecting all the positives here. We got two positives here. Those are connected to the positive of the driver and the two negatives here connect to the negative of the driver and it gets split by however many we connect. So like I say, we got two here dividing uh, 1.7 amps. It's around 850 milli milliamps per strip set there. Um, you know, if we had three sets, it'd get divided by three. If we had four, it'd get divided by four and so on and so on and so on. And that is the best way. The only kind of caveat is you have to run in sets of two. So you can't do a 54 volt setup with a five strip configuration, but you can do it with a four, or you can do it with a six. So it's the only little uh, little hold back on it, but um, it is the easiest and, and only way to use the HLG 600 uh, series because the 54 volt uses every bit of that driver versus if you did a straight parallel, no series configuration, you'd have to use a 30 volt and you'd be leaving voltage on the table. So. Hope that helps everyone out there. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a, a quick little, just throw it out there, a little example. So if people are building this weekend or over the week, um, they have something to reference. Like I said, I still have 320 drivers. It's the most bang for your buck on the bigger um, builds. But something like this, this uh, four strip configuration or a six strip or a 10 strip, uh, 54 volt setups could work very, very well. Like I say, you don't have to add... We just talked about the, uh, I wish I had my phone so I could have my calculator, but uh, but you know, you don't have to run 16 strips 
on an HLG 600 that runs them at about 1.4 amps. I think it's a perfect, you know, good one. Okay, I'm looking up some spectral quick so we can run through one more example before I let you go because I think this is a build that series config. An HLG 480. HLG 480H-54B equals 8.9 amps add up to 54 volts. Can you read that? That might be backwards. It shows up backwards on my screen, but um, what that says is an HLG 480 will push out 8.9 amps at up to 54 volts. Great, we have the 54 volts covered. Now, 8.9 amps. Like I say, a lot of people uh, will wanna run something like a, uh, a 12 strip configuration, running a uh, four by four and not just absolutely mixing it out um, or, or just doesn't run that kind of wattage. It, this series parallel configuration gives you the ability to uh, do some of those oddball configurations, or I shouldn't even say oddball, because this is a great build here, 12 strips on a 480 um, that aren't necessarily accessible by a pure series configuration because it would go over the 300 volts the connectors are rated for. So you can do 10. So someone in the comments says four strips on a 240-54, it has 4.45 output. Um, I'm not going to double check that. We're just going to assume that's 4.45 amps across four strips would technically be set. So we're going to divide that by two. You're going to get about 2.2 amps per strip. So for four strips on a 240, that's going to be running them pretty hot. The strips technically could take it, um, but you're going to, they could take this T-Nuts series profile, but you're going to want to have air moving. I would suggest adding two more strips to that. Um, and running six six strips or three sets on that driver, but it uh, it's not the end of the world if you don't. Um, just make sure you can cool it properly and be good to go. If you get an HLG 185, which is more like a basically the, the equivalent of a 200 watt driver, um, that might work really well for a four a four strip setup. Getting a little more bang for your buck. Uh, otherwise, an HLG 320 dash 1400 B uh, runs four strips in single series perfectly. So up to you guys. 5.3 amps divided by how many sets there's, I'm just going through the comments here and looking at, uh, looking at chat. You guys are asking about a couple different specific drivers or something like that. It's uh, it's pretty simple. Um, once you put these 54 volts in set, we're just going to divide the amperage by how many sets of strips we have. So, um, you know, a five amp driver there, a five amp driver, I would assume we want to run like six strips, maybe four, you know, four strips is going to be too much there. We're really going to want to run six strips, uh, maybe even, um, maybe even eight strips on that one and just run them really efficient. Because the beautiful thing is, you know, yes, we run these strips at 1.4 and it's a great bang for your buck, but they are really efficient below an amp. So if you want to parallel up and, and build something below an amp, you might get to the efficiency level where you don't need heat sinks so there, there's lots to be done, lots to be done. But the concept is we're building 54 volt strips by connecting one strip to the other with a jumper cable or with a jumper cable to make this a 54 volt uh, strip from here to here. And then we can connect every 54 volt setup after that. Once you guys have that in your brain, series parallel is gonna be easy peasy. You guys are gonna ask, why don't you just make a fucking four, four foot 54 volt strip? The, the long story short is, uh, quality control on four foot strips is just absolutely horrible. They have way too much flex. Um, and then there's a lot of skews we would have to carry because we do sell a lot of two foot for a lot of two foot configurations. So the easiest way is to just let you guys build them up as pot as much as you want. And that's, I mean, that's how Samsung does it. That's how Bridgelux does it. The bulk of their sales are in two foot strips and building it up. Um, we're the same way, make some better quality and uh, easier to work with. But it's also why we have 27 volts at two feet instead of any other configuration. 
These strips will run at, uh, there's really no minimum amperage. The voltage required is gonna go down as you push less amps to it. So at 54 volts, that's for like 1.4 amp drive current is gonna give us around 27 volts a strip, which is around 54 on the set. If you're only running say 700 milliamps across it, the strip set is only gonna be like 51, 52 volts. Uh, 54 volt driver will handle it. It's gonna, people think that 54 volts on a lot of these drivers is constant voltage. None of those 54 volt drivers mean well as any of them. They're not constant voltage. They're constant current that only maxes out at, at 54 volts. So these are still constant current setups. They are just uh, just driven with parallel. Another misconception there. But here, I will fire this up. So before we leave, I'll fire this up. We have two strip sets, or four, four strips put into two sets to make two 54 volt setups. And right now I have them both negative. So both strips negative connected to the, to the negative of the driver and both strips positive connected to the positive of the driver. That's gonna divide the current up and give us uh, 850 milliamps per strip. I'm gonna fire this up and you're gonna see it. And then I'm gonna disconnect one of the strips. And as soon as I disconnect one of the strips here, that uh, 1.7 amps is no longer gonna get divided and it's gonna go all into one strip. And this strip will then be getting 1.7. So before we go, we'll just... One last thing. So there it is, 54 volts, 1.7 amps driven across two strips. Let's do the dirty. We're gonna uh, pull the connection, bam. There's no longer circuitry for this. Uh, you can kind of see some light because it's just uh, it's just running through there and leaking a little bit. But um, uh, anyway, this strip uh, is now getting 1.7 amps, still running at 54 volts, doing its thing. So, okay, guys. Enjoy the rest of your Memorial Day. Like I said, just a quick little uh, did it live, but it's just a quick little uh, infomercial or a little, uh, little bit of education for you guys so you can help help with your builds and have something to reference. Um, but there you go. We can do it all with these connectors. Don't need these. Parallel series. We did the whole deal. Peace, guys.